guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, as you can see, the powder coating oven has been painted. Uh, we're right now waiting uh, for our high temp class uh, to continue the build. Though the door uh, has some imperfections in the finish, uh, so the intent here is to uh, actually sand his door down and uh, fix some of these imperfections that are in there from the spot glaze. So we'll get to that uh, shortly. Uh, I'm going to give it a little bit of a break and we're going to tackle a small little project and uh, I'll show you what I'm going to do. So hang in there. Hopefully you'll enjoy the video, guys. Good morning, guys. So as you can see here, we've got a washing machine. Uh, little had a little mishap. It uh, decided to go through a bearing. It, this one unit actually is a direct drive, so the motor on it is still good. So what I like to do with these things is actually take them apart. Uh, there's a huge coil in the back full of copper. And we can take that to the scrapper. Uh, the motor on this thing is still good. So we'll save that. And then the uh, inside barrel or drum makes an awesome fire pit. So we're going to take this apart and see if I can save some of the metal. And then the rest, uh, I'll throw it on the curb and let the scrapper take it. So what we got here guys is um, some scrap that I've been putting aside. This is actually uh, table uh, legs with adjustable feet. So the game plan is to uh, put that at the bottom of that fire pit or the drum that we removed from the machine. Now what I'd like to do is scrap plates and put one here and then put one on the inside of the drum and then sandwich it together and we'll put uh, a bolt through it. So that should work out quite nicely. So let's see if this plate actually, I have two of them. So let's see if these plates will actually fit at the bottom of the drum and uh, let's see how that fitment works out. Okay guys, so as you can see what I did is I drilled a hole through the center of this and I put a steel rod. Because of the indentation here, uh, we need the uh, the plate to sit slightly above that uh, dip. So when I put the foot on it, it uh, will sit a little higher up. Let me show you what I got going on in the bottom. And that's just this piece of scrap steel plate, which we'll drill the hole through, and uh, we're ready to go. So I bolted it from the top, we'll bolt it in between now, and then I'll put that steel plate. So let's flip it over like so. There we go. And now what I'll do is I'll get a steel plate in there. So I'll put another bolt, steal up the plate, and then tighten it up so it's nice and tight. So let me do that and I'll show you what it looks like. guys we're back on this uh, fire pit so what I'm noticing right now is no matter how much I try to tighten it it uh, stays pretty loose so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it apart and I think we're gonna put a spacer or a two inch spacer or a piece of a two inch square pipe uh, in between the bottom base uh, and the uh, table legs and we'll weld that in and uh, that should tighten everything up so let's uh, unbolt this and uh, see how we can figure that out. Okay guys, as you can see, I've got the uh, little two inch uh, tube uh, welded to that plate. Now when I tighten up against the base, it should uh, compress both the top and bottom together. It should be real, real sturdy. I'm just letting that cool off, so I'll give it a little bit of a uh, shot of primer so it doesn't rust, and then we'll paint it uh, later when we actually paint the uh, fire pit. 
But uh, let's let it cool off for a few minutes and then we'll give it a shot of primer. Well guys, she's uh, all set up. So you can see that I've got the steel plate back in there again. Let me just flip it over. You can see how I've got that uh, compressed in and then bolt it on from underneath. So these, uh, these feet on this are adjustable. So once uh, you have the fire pit in, in the place that you need it, you can throw a level on it if you like, or eyeball it, and adjust the feet, and you're ready to rock and roll. So what we'll do uh, is we'll tape the, uh, the edge, and uh, we'll do some high heat uh, flat black paint on it, and uh, she'll be ready to go. Guys, I appreciate you guys all watching. Please subscribe and uh, I hope you enjoyed the short video. Thanks.